Welcome back. So we are now in depth two. Currently looking for the wiring diagram. I need to create a new computer to contact HR, basically. The hell is a scribe? Anyway, looks like I've got three options on where I'm going, but my overall objectives are down here somewhere. And I think I want to keep an eye out for warp keys. I like having the ability to just zip across to my objective. Although I don't think... Yeah, I don't, I don't think any of these immediate locations have a warp drive. Or, excuse me, a warp key. This has a warp dispenser. But I don't know what that is. Anyway, so what are my options here? Immediately we can do food materials and builds nothing. This will build a rifter. This is unknown. I think we're gonna go with this. So there's some janitors which I know how to deal with. Ooh. So we've passed those machines that are, that uh, get rid of radiation, but this will be the first time I'm actually exposed to radiation. And I don't know what that'll do to me. But this this will be interesting. If we die, we're literally right there. So, grab this, deal with the new enemy. I need to figure out what his gimmick is. Hopefully don't get irradiated. Let's go. And we're pretty much good on health. I'll, I'll rest once. All right, let's dock. Old Faithful. I'm gonna bring this guy. And Zapper. Ah, oh, this is a very long ship. Power's already on, so I don't have to worry about that. So, down, up. Wait, oh no, what the hell is this? Dispense warp keys. That's not what I need, is it? <gasps> huh? Okay. This just became the greatest ship. Let's start with this thing so I can stun people. Let's get the fuel that's over here. So, what does this do? I hear. Oh, fuck, there's a camera here, isn't there? Okay, good. Doesn't look like it saw me. So, okay, so I build up radiation, but I don't know what happens when I'm irradiated. Do I die? Does it go down? Oh, do I just take damage? Okay, so it goes down over time, but I take damage during that time. Crap, I need to go this way. Yeah, because I'm at 508, 36. Yep, alright. Hey, there's my first scribe. I gotta run through goddamn radiation. So what's your gimmick? What do you do? The world may never know. Okay, I need to loot this place quick. You unlock, well, crap. Give me a warp key. Give me another one. Ah, oh, this place is all kinds of pain. Back to this thing. Oh my god. Yeah, I can't really be sneaky here. Well, I can, but like... Shit! Can I destroy that? Like, will that alert security if I destroy it? Okay. so much radiation. I'm just gonna beeline it down the hallway. Oh my god, I'm gonna be taking so much damage from this. Is there a thing to clear out radiation in the ship? Yeah, all the way over here. Wait, what sees me? Oh, hi! Alright. So we... Is there no fuel on the ship? Huh, there's no fuel here. Interesting. 
that's going to make this uh, going forward in the first abyss area every ship had fuel it does not look like that is the case anymore so that's going to be a little more dangerous if I I, I can't even say pathing because I don't know if a ship has fuel until I go on it but it looks like go back in here there's one guy here because he spawned I can't get this because it's locked I'm going to have to deal with that Removes. No, that's telling me what the room does. It. There's a turret there. Apparently, my my little electric gun I think just does extra damage to those guys, so I should be able to get rid of that turret pretty easily. All right, get away from the radiation. God, I have so much of it. Okay, so it stuns them. Doesn't do extra damage to. Heal me. Ah. All right, we're good there now. Does radiation carry over from mission to mission? Like, if I leave with some, will I have that in future missions? Like, should I? Basically, what I'm saying is, should I visit this place before I leave? So here, down, loot. Oh my God. Every time I see the radiation clouds, I cry. Alright, we're leaving. We're gonna purge in case it carries over. Because I'd rather have whatever I get from this over everything I currently have. Oh. Jump! I don't even know if that helped, but I'll take 40 over 200. Alright. Oh, yeah. Stow. Uh, recycle. Workbench. Ooh. Rifts. Oh, I had to give up a, a warp sphere, though. Oh, wait, no. A warp sphere and a warp key are two different things. Uh, rifts target. Target out of the world to be returned on demand. I don't understand what that means. Do I, like, teleport somebody away? And then use it again to teleport them back so I can kind of position them where I want? Like those tourists that explode, I can shoot one of them and teleport them. And then later when I'm, like, facing a group of people, I can shoot them into the group and then make them explode? I guess we'll find out, but... Okay, so this is where... My HR. Is that, am I missing anything by going here? I don't really care about that. There's a boss on the ship. I definitely don't want that. I don't even know what the bosses in this game are. A lot of oil. But I can skip all of them. Is it worth skipping though? Because there's only this ship in between. Because I could just go here, here, here. And there's two things here, the Staple Hunter and the Germ Spiker. Hmm. Purebot has... wait, Purebot has a stolen part? What the hell is... oh, Pupbot. There's a robot doggy here, I guess. So do I want to do this? Surgery for dummies. Yeah, we're gonna go, just because there's no point in using a warp drive to skip one ship. Whoa. Aye. Alright, so there's pirates now. There you are. Follows you on to... Oh, so... Can I click on you? I cannot. So like, they'll, if, if we both go here, I'll have to deal with these guys and pirates, okay. Also, I just realized if I could just skip things if I wanted to, I can just, I don't have to do this ship. I guess the warp drive is just makes it faster so I save on food and fuel. Alright, let's rest. Okay, they went down there somewhere. Alright, let's do this.
All right, the ship is pretty straightforward. Go there, turn on, and then we have two potential exits. Objective is surgery for dummies. It's pro the puppy probably has, and I gotta find the puppy. Do I have to kill him? I know he's a robot, but still. Camera is dead. Three of the janitors are dead. I already got I already got my uh, thing for dummies. Let me heal. Thank you. I'm not gonna do the boost. Oh, hello! I didn't realize there was a spawner in here. I'm not gonna boost my health now that I know that it's a temporary boost. That was really heartbreaking last time when uh, I left this ship with like a thousand health. And then it went back to my old one. Hello. Oh my god! It's you. I, I forgot you were on the ship. Okay. You can be shocked, so you're actually not that bad. security camera to deal with. Can I jump over this? I cannot. Oh good, it's not even looking at me right now. <laughs> oh shit! Okay. Woo! You're not active until the camera says so. Oh, that scared me. Alright, give me. Fuel up north, more fuel down south. So we'll go here, 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 run up, grab that, run up here. Alright, is it worth? I can't even do it. You see nothing, janitor. Ha ha! I am very happy that this thing just stuns these turrets. Like, I feel bad for anything else in this slot, because you're competing with this bad boy. Like the shock or the stapler, which is basically a shotgun. Okay, you're competing with the pistol. The pistol's good, especially because finding ammo for it's easy. But the shocker, come on. Until we start hitting enemies that are just flat out immune to being shocked. I don't really want to switch. What was the other thing in this option? Was it the kitty bot? So I can like, distract people. I mean, oh crap, I shocked them twice. Like I can distract them. <gasps> the doggy! Get back here, you little... Yeah, stuns him too. Look at that. Gimme. I wonder if the boss is just going to be like a robotic John Wick. Who comes after me because I just shot that dog multiple times. Oh, this gets rid of oil too. I didn't know that. Whee! I know, you're going to shoot me. Hold on. That's fine. Paralyze. Oh, I missed! Okay. Wait, look how long it stuns them, too. That's the crazy part. What the hell is that? Oh. I don't need to deal with that. Anybody in here? Gimme. Oh my god! Just get the shit out of me! Gimme, gimme, gimme! I'm sliding everywhere! I'm not gonna bother wasting the ammo on you. Oh my god, he scared the hell out of me.
Stow. Recycle. I still feel bad for shooting that dog. I feel like the entire plot of whatever that game is, Cyberpunk, is future John Wick coming after me because I shot that dog. Clearly I am a kitty person, even though I've never used it. So now staples can be found more easily. What do I need again? Yeah. Alright. So... Map? Yeah, see, I don't need to warp drive because I can just give me the fuel cells. Thank you. I don't know what that was. Probably the pirates. Give me the fuel. Yeah, give me the fuel cells. Alright. So there's only tourists on this map. Merits, staples, plaz, the HR computer that I need, a zap hunter, a shed loads of tourists. Hard to leave. I have to leave via another airlock. I mean, that's... I've already been kind of doing that anyway. Health is full. We're in a pretty good spot. So unless I'm extremely reckless, because these guys explode, I should be fine. Oh man, I just realized we're right there at depth three. What does depth three look like? Let me just look at the ship. Scribes, those dudes. Hello. You're new. Okay, so it looks like each depth adds... Well, depth two added two new enemies. It added the spooks and the scribes. And now I guess depth three has these, whatever the hell these things are. Alright, either way, let's deal with this. Um, I'm here, yes. Doc. As much as I like the Zapper, I want to try this out. And I feel like this is the best mission to try them out, because I don't need to stun these guys. They die in one shot. Oh, does my perk override the hard to leave thing? Because there's still an exit here. Yeah, it looks like, it looks like I say screw you to hard to leave. Alright, so loop here, grab that, and then we'll figure it out from there. I want to try it. I already see who I'm trying it on. <gasps> oh, what happens if I change weapon? Oh, that's awesome! I wish I could put them further away. I wonder if that saves across missions. There's a camera here, I don't want to deal with that. I guess that would have been a good, been a good reason to bring my, uh... Okay, never mind. Camera's dying, one shot too. Whoa, what the- oh, the turret. I was like, what the hell's shooting me? The turrets don't have guns. So here's the plan. Crap, there's also a camera. So here is what we're gonna do. The next scene, Sneaky. Alright. Yeah. Where's the camera? I mean, the turret. <laughs> I love that gun now. I don't think it is going to be as good as the Zapper. But it is good. Actually, now that it... Uh, it has... It, I guess situational, because like the screws who take like zero damage, even if I don't replace where they are, just to get them off the map might be more valuable than zapping. I don't it depends on what I'm up against. Like on this mission, I don't need the zapper. 
the like the the tourists blow up, so I do not need a stun gun. Ooh, I wonder if I can. Not gonna try. Actually, I do want one of you, just in case. Have you thought of a career as a person who travels through space picking up junk? I think he's trying to tell me that I'm good at my job. Do I need enemy? I don't need enemy locations. They're all tourists. Um, let's see. We'll go up here, grab this. Restock, grab that. Boop, 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 boop. Can I shoot you through this window? Because I don't want to... There we go. Yeah, see, the, I, I like the the missions that are just the tourists. Because they're... It's a relaxing... Yeah, see, it's a relaxing mission. I don't even need to crouch. I can just walk normally. Killing one typically kills anybody else in that room. The only time it's really a problem is if they, like, somehow sneak up on me. I can't see this one. Oh, yes I can. All in all, I actually really like this game. I don't know if I would say it's my favorite roguelike. But it's definitely, so far anyway, it's definitely up there. It's also been a while since I've played a roguelike, now that I think about it. I think Slay the Spire was the last one I played. Oh. Oh shit, I didn't see the... Ah, oh, see, look at that! I just shoot one, and it kills everything. He somehow, his explosion reached the ceiling. and we're not going to be here much longer. I can even refill you if you want. When I'm, co oh, when I'm covered in oil, it becomes a little risky. Because I end up, like, sliding towards them. But other than that, these missions are just fun. Like, I don't have to worry. There's no spooky ghost people. There's a lot of squelching on that other side of that door. Clear? Anybody else? One other guy. Give me your floor sandwich. Oh, hi. Took some damage there. So you... I don't need more oxygen, do I? No, we're done here. We're just leaving. So there is... a turret over there. Do I need to deal with it? Nope. I go this way, right? Yeah. Alright, yeah, we're done here. Alright, so we needed, what, three parts for my, uh, my new computer? So this is the first of three. All in all, not a bad day. Not a bad haul. A lot of glasses just lying around, apparently. Uh, some stow. We got a lot of merits. I just saw that 202, I think it said. Nothing new on the workbench. Oh, but I need that for you. Huh. Oh, wait, I can create this. That was a merit badge. 10% chance of an instant free authorization. I don't know what that is. I need to craft a form T82B. Used to complete merit badge. Ammo, okay. Oh wait, what's this? Clients receive 50% more ammo in their care... Mm. More ammo... I mean, care package is the thing it gives me when I start, though, right? It's not the beginning of every mission. Let's do this. That also opened up that, alright. 
Alright, well, part one has been completed. We need part two, which is all the way over there. And we will make our way in that direction next time. Bye.